Um, I'm trying to think. I, I'm trying to put my my thoughts together here because I can't get too spoilery because I don't want to. I I want people to know how much I thought this movie was good, and they really do a good job of showing a broken down, depressed Logan rising above what he has dealt with and being a hero again and going all out. And they did, hey, they did some deceptive marketing and some deceptive editing here or there, but holy crap, it was worth it. It was 100% worth it with one of the, towards the end, final reveals. Oh my God, it was fantastic. Oh, uh, I, I would actually probably watch this movie again. That's how good it was, and that's how amazing of a fun time I had. I, I never saw myself, like, frowning or uh, feeling bored. It, it felt, the time just flew by watching this movie. And I, I really, I, I can't speak highly enough about this movie. And then... I'll, I'll say, though, no, actually, I was going to say how they beat the villain. Eh. There's a parts of it that I like, parts of it I don't like, and things of that nature. But what I do like is at the very end, when they're, you know, the whole end credit crawl roll, they have something that I was not expecting them to do. And I think it was very, it, it was done in a way that was very uh, courteous and shows you that they did go into this movie thinking about how much these guys mean to people and how fantastic of a time they had making the Fox X-Men universe and the other universes for crying out loud and the other Marvel movies that aren't MCU. They, they have, they even show some of the bad times, but they show like all the, you know, all a little homage to all those guys from the past and make you feel good. Oh, there was one line where I did break out laughing because who delivers it and the line itself is iconic and it was phenomenal all, all, all together. But uh, I, again, this was just a quick, a, a very quick out of theater thought process of the movie without being as spoiler free as I possibly could. I did do some spoilers, but I did They're minor spoilers, not not major spoilers. I'm trying I'm trying my hardest not to spoil everything. We'll get deeper into that tonight over on Ballbusters, uh, where I have almost everybody uh, planning to watch and talk about the movie, except for maybe a few people and, and things like that. And Hayden for five dollars, hey! I just got home from watching it. Phenomenal movie. Pokes, uh, phenomenal movie. Pokes, just enough fun at the past. Cameos were great. I agree. It also pays a lot of respect to the past. E even all the funny, even all the funny moments, they do it in a way that makes you really care about what's going on here and remind you of all the good times, including all the bad times. You know, there, there was, there was a few characters that, you know, you're like, do we really need them, but they treat them well. They treat them really well, and I, I had a blast. I think that's the long and short of it, and I, I do suggest people go watch this movie. Main, my main criticism is the villains were kind of lacking, so th there's that, but how the hell do I end this stream? How the hell do I end this? But oh, As I try to figure that out, and thank you again, Hayden, for that $5. Eight, eight out of 10 for you, says Hayden. I need to collect my thoughts a little bit more. Maybe watch it again before I give it a uh, rating it myself. Right now, at the hype moment, I'm probably sitting at about an 8.5 out of 10, somewhere around there. I highly suggest this movie, but if I truly think about it a little bit more, it might my thought process might change a little bit here or there. Something might be a little bit better to me, or something might be a little bit worse. I, I, I don't know yet. Uh, still need to process some stuff. And also watch it again, which I, I will be watching it again. I can't praise this movie enough, but in the meantime, guys, again, quick stream, trying to figure this out. I need to do these more. Uh, Dom says 7.5 out of 10. I think that's respectful. 